Hello, Internet. <laughs> hey. Welcome to the dark side of the room. I am Solar Gray, your cinematic sorcerer. And with me this week, I have special guest... Derek Zhu. Be peaceful, take risks, chill. That's a hell of a call sign there. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just looking for the cinematic magic that's left in movies I grew up with. <laughs> and, you're like, and you're just like, yeah, be peaceful and chill. And take risks. That's the other thing. Oh, take, take risks. Risk. Well, how, yeah. can you, how can you take risks you can. And, and be peaceful? Well, right? the idea is start with a peaceful mindset. Like, you don't always, you know, don't want to hurt. You know, no. and my, my theory is, like, come in cool, class, don't want to hurt nobody, don't want to fuck shit up. You know, peaceful, as in not, uh, peaceful as in non-violent, not zen. Yeah, like, okay. like, be, like be peaceful. Like, just, you, okay. know, like, you know, come with a good vibe. You know, mm. Maybe I need to work on the be peaceful part a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because, you know, I hear be peaceful and it's like, you know, I'm not here to kick your ass. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, that's what the taste, that's what the take risk comes in. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so take, take risk on kicking somebody's exactly. ass. Exactly. <laughs> take risk is like, you know, some people are peaceful or maybe you're not coming with peace. So oh, man. You take the risk of either accepting that or not. Okay, you know? yeah, that's fair. Be that's chill fair. with whatever the answer is. Okay, you know, where the result is. Oh man, so Let's it's been that. it's been a little while since we've been able to do a show together. Absolutely, uh, two years. It's been two years. Damn right, two years. Well, at least a year, fucking uh, beyond that cinematic abomination that I still justify called Batman versus Superman. Oh god, what a mess. Hmm? It was. Oh my god, I seen the movie twice and it got worse the second time I saw it in theaters, mind you. I saw it this is the, like, not too long after we saw it because I promised a friend I would go see it, and sure enough, I was like, "Wow, this cannot get bad. <laughs> it's not worse, bro." Dog. Oh, oh my man. god. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. I yeah. can see that. And of course, you know that friend still owes you a favor. I bet. Mm, oh, I, I have actually I haven't spoke to him in a while. He ah. was supposed to put me in a web series too, but he just we just disconnected. Who knows? Well, see, I'm doing this because I don't want the phone call saying, "Remember Batman versus Superman?" Yeah, grab your shovel. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, we I, I kind of got into a situation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shit happens. Yeah. So yeah, so man, got so much, so so many comic book movies, so much. Time, um, man. yeah, yeah. Um, I checked out a new game. It was mm-hmm. called um, this is not a test. Okay. And it's essentially a tabletop miniature war game for people like me, cause okay. them shit's expensive. Yeah. I, I hate to say it, but they're expensive. And they're a lot of work because, you know, you buy your own toys, you paint your own toys, and they charge you, you know, a mortgage payment for the privilege. Sheesh. And this one's like, all right, here are the rules to our game. Use what you got. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Rem- remember all those miniatures games you bought and then you fell out of because you didn't like the tournament scene or you ended up doing things like having sex and reading books? <laughs> if, you, if you still got your shit laying around. Well, plus <laughs> going back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you still got it laying around, try this. Hmm. Yeah, check it. It's post-apocalyptica. Got another one over here that's fantasy because we know how these games work. We uh, know our crowds. Uh huh. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. So, so yeah, I learned how to play that, and I'm like, hey, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So, not to say it's going to get all my time because if it ain't superheroes, then I'm not going to say I'm not interested. Yeah. But I'm not as interested. No. <laughs> not as. What about you? What about you? Um, what you been? What's I've been, been good. I've been good. I'm I'm uh, trying to blow up my. I got a few shows on Instagram. Y'all should check out. Um, plug time, exactly. plug, plug time, plug, plug, plug time. time. Get the plugs in, okay? <laughs> Derek Zhu, D E R R I C K T Z U on Instagram. Check me out. Uh, follow, like, and subscri- uh, subscribe. I'm going to also be moving to YouTube very soon and, uh, and Twitter as well. Um, I'm slowly building on Instagram as well. So I have a show called Mamie, The Adventures of Mamie and Zoo about uh, myself and the tele- telekinetic cat um, and power PSAs. Those are my main two, but mainly it's a place for music. Fit- I'll be singing on there very soon. Uh, fucking fitness and comedy. A lot of comedy. Power PSAs. Power PSAs. Essentially, it started... What are you going to do, brother, when you don't put your seatbelt on? Exactly. Any, any PSA that has like an heroic figure on it, I'm going to take it. I'm going to stand there. I'm going to go off. Or it's like, Snapping and not bullying. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't beat me. Don't beat me. <laughs> Actually, why didn't they do that? I wish hey, that's a miss. R.I.P. Uh, Randy Savage, but man, that is a missed opportunity. <laughs> it's never just a bully. Don't beat me. <laughs> I miss that. It would have been fucking phenomenal. You know, just to age myself a little bit, I, I wanted my Ultimate Warrior PSAs. Oh like, my seriously. god! Because I love Roddy me? Piper. Not one. No, not one. He'd Look, be amazing. Sir, they but, already made him into a comic book character called Snowflame. No, I'm yeah, kidding. So, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But you know, you know what a lot of, of cocaine. Okay. <laughs> a lot of. See, cocaine. with the Ultimate Warrior though, his PSAs would be like 20 minutes long. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, In the galaxy. <laughs> 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 
I look upon the mass of the warriors that came before me, and I say to do your homework like all the little warriors, because you cannot good with spear if you do not practice 42. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, I'm just, I'm just you, saying. Uh, already off topic. <laughs> have you seen the video of um? And they they patched things up where he died. Oh, yeah. Ultimate Warrior. Um, it's like an hour long, hour and a half long of him just going off on the Hulk Hogan. It legit. He's no mask or nothing. It's just him, straight old old man on Ultimate Warrior, just sitting there, go looking right in the camera and just going off. If you want to know what hate looks like, watch that video. Like there okay. are moments where he stops talking and he just goes. You're a real piece of shit. Like, the hate, <laughs> like, hit him so strong. I mean, it's, it's beautiful to watch for hate. They, they, got, they passed things up. He they, dropped they, character, know. and it was, you're just such a piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, like, you just couldn't take it no more. <laughs> like, it was, it's beautiful. It's, if you need to study what, like, real hate is, or right, for, for a moment, it's literally that video. Okay, all right, all right. You but, know what? <laughs> I'm going to say that I have seen it. Okay. Because by the time I edit and air this, uh-huh. I will probably have memorized it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so long, but it's so beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, it's yeah. It's pure beautiful. Now, speaking of hate, segue. Now, speaking of hate, man, you know, we, we, we now for you guys that don't know, we, we talk about stuff all the time, just mm. all day, all night. We talk, we talk on Facebook, we talk on the phone. Yeah. And we've been talking about them Spider-Mans. Ooh. And, um... You know, we've seen the trailer. Are we going to roll a clip? No, we're not. <laughs> um, but I, I will tell you this. I will tell you that, you know, I know you were expressing a little bit of concern for Michael Keaton. Well, it's not Keaton I'm worried about. I, guess I, I mean, it's Michael Keaton. You can't go wrong about Keaton, in my opinion. Um, it's just the, uh, the villain, the vulture. Um, now, I would, I'll be the first to say that I don't know a lot about the Vulture, I suppose, from what I've, the little I've read in the comic books and what I've seen in the cartoon series as well. He's a shriveled old man that flies. Yeah, and I'm like, you're going to base a whole movie off of that? Like, you know, the young, we have, we finally got a really cool, super cool, you know, young Spider-Man who I am super excited for. Tom Holland, it looks amazing. I loved him in Civil War. Um, but I was like, and he's going to fight out of all the rogues gathered with Spider-Man. The vulture, old man, old man wings is gonna come down and teach these kids a lesson. But what changed my perception was Michael Keaton and the fact uh. that they got they got Birdman to play Birdman, like you know <laughs> what I mean, like to play a Birdman. Like I, I was like, okay, I, I'll, I'll, I'm not too mad. I'm still wishing it was kind of somebody a little more with more gravitas. But okay, I think Keaton. It it says something that Keaton's in that role. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. When I was a kid. I started a fist fight with a dude in his 50s. Never the fuck again. I was going to say, why? <laughs> don't fuck because with Because I thought kids. I was young. Exactly. I, I, I was don't young. Don't let these elders shit I was, invinci- I was invincible. And you know yeah. what? Old men, they're not trying to knock you out with one punch. No. They're trying to kill you. No, exactly. They're trying to murder <laughs> they, you. They, they don't care if they go to jail. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> They're, they're, they're this, and, um, yeah, I was talking, you know, with, with some of my friends, because, you know, martial arts and all that stuff. It's like, yeah, I'm badass. Nah, 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 nah. And the old man is like, I'll just box your ears and throat punch you, and then I'll go have a beer. <laughs> exactly. And I'm like, yes, sir. Like, take me out, <laughs> exactly, take me out yes, the sir. window. Yeah. Yeah. Take, you know, he's not yeah. going to just fucking square up and get in, like, you know, a stance. He's just no, going to go for They the- are too old to care mm-hmm. if you think they're tough. Exactly. And when I saw Michael Keaton in that trailer, mm-hmm. and I think all the way back, like the first time I saw Michael Keaton play a bad guy mm. was Pacific Heights. I still haven't okay. seen that. And, um, he's a terrible person that starts like stalking. Mm. And back in, back in the days of Night Shift, when he convinced Henry Winkler to be a freaking pimp that runs a freaking brothel out of a mortuary, okay. he came off as a buffoon, but behind his eyes, there was always just a little crazy. I, I don't. He's either an amazing actor, or that ain't acting. There's something <laughs> wrong with him. There is seriously, you know. So when I'm watching the first trailer, and he's like, "Make no mistake, kid, I will not just take you down, but I will kill everyone you love." I'm like, "That's Michael Keaton. I, that was him in Birdman. You know, that's oh my God, <laughs> that that. that Trust. Uh, and I'm just like, all right, all right, cool, because you know we know the Mr. Mom. Beetlejuice yeah. guy that's all wacky and goofy, but mm. people that are that wacky and goofy are hiding something real dark mm. inside. <laughs> no, no, I mean, exactly. they're, no, they're, they're, it's, they're, it's, yeah. it's like, um, because we were talking about earlier, was, um, should be the uh, the founder, mm. um, great movie by the way, about the uh, uh, the CEO of McDonald's and how he got it. And bro, like, when you watch that movie, 
Um, and it starts off with the character of the main guy, Michael Keaton. Uh, I forget the name of the founders, you know, the actual guy's name. Ronald McDonald. Yeah, yeah Ronald McDonald. It's called Ronald McDonald, <laughs> yeah. right? So fucking Ronald McDonald. The Hamburglar. You know. He's the Hamburglar. <laughs> Grimace. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, um, he comes up as a really, like, you know, salt of the earth American guy. Just business try, man, trying to make me, ends me, trying to really build something out of his life and really. And then grow. you find his collection of little shoes yeah. from all the kids he ground up and put and in the bird. No, I'm, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's just you, you, you get, you, you see the hint of what his true intentions are like the cracks in there and we realize like this is really a shark and he's not he's like either you can swim with me or if you swim against me I'm gonna eat you yeah. nothing personal it's just how the fuck I swim it's how yeah. I roll you know and so that going back that's why I'm not worried about sorry that's yeah. why I'm not worried about uh, Keaton yeah. um, I think Keaton um, is, is has that just that ability to do that to go be a slow burn to pow yeah exactly and you know? that that's that's what i am so yeah. not concerned about with mm. michael keaton when that goes down because <laughs> uh, i'm really looking forward to it i really well, am. Like, speaking of wish i wanted to ask you this earlier um i don't know how much you're keeping up with uh, venom um and the new and the route off of the venom movie um you didn't know tom hardy's playing venom hmm that, did you hear about that or no? i heard about it he's, he's and he's, everything i've got to say about Sony's attempt <clears throat> at a Venom movie, a, a Venom franchise, oh. was really summed up in the um, in the Lego Batman movie. Um, mm, I think I it was. No, uh, no, 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 no. No. Uh, yeah. You don't like you don't like Tom. No, Venom? no, no. What? Why not? He's Number one, brilliant. when I think Venom, I think. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> yeah, that's not okay. what I think. Um, second, I do love Tom Hardy. I yeah. really do. Um, he had me since Star Trek Nemesis. Okay? Oh, wow, way back when. Yeah. Um, but I just don't think that Sony should be trying to make a franchise off of not just a Spider-Man spinoff character. I mean, like. Black Cat, I'd be raising an eyebrow about. Okay, yeah. but um, Ben Riley, I'd be raising an eyebrow about. But you don't get Venom without Peter. I agree. You know, you just you can't have Venom. I agree. Without having Spider Man, you need that. And um, giving this dude an entire movie before <clears throat> the origin, which completely revolves around the dude that's not going to be in the movie. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say bad idea. Yeah, I agree. But the industry PC way to, to say it is bold. bold. It's bold. <laughs> With a smile it, on it, your face. It's, it's bold. It's a bold move. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a bold move, and if it works, more power to them. Well, here's the thing. More what I've, what I've heard them, but... was, rem- I heard there was some loose talk um, of some MCU thing, like of Spider-Man um, being brought up. Just talk. It's, it's just talk. Uh, it could be just, you know, lovely nerd wishing. But fucking, um, uh, that, it'd be like Deadpool and X-Men. You know, like, everything happens in X-Men, but no one brings up, oh, you remember when Deadpool took over? They're not gonna bring him up in the X-Men movie. So, Venom will be part of Spider-Man's world, but if Spider-Man has a movie or something, or with the MCU, he's not gonna bring up what happened with Venom. He might allude to it, but he's never gonna, this is, this is what I've heard. And, but what I've heard for certain is that Carnage will be the main villain. Carnage? And, yeah, Carnage is gonna be the main villain <clears throat> of the Venom so, movie. So, hang on. They're doing a spinoff. Yep. And then they are going to make the chief antagonist a spinoff of the spinoff. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I like the story within a story. <laughs> okay. But the more I'm hearing about this, all I can see are the South Park kids going, fuck you. Yeah, I know. I, that's how I felt. It's a total man. recall? Oh, yeah. A total recall. Fuck you. Oh, yeah, that, I, that's what I gotta say. I'm, I'm again. The more I hear about this, the less I'm excited. Now, my question to you is: Do you think it's an R rating? I'm gonna say they'd be damn fools if they didn't give it one. I agree. You know, because um, there are certain there are certain other properties, certain other properties that I gotta say that um, deserve an R rating. Okay, mm. that, that's um, Wolverine. If you don't give Wolverine an R rating, you're doing it wrong. Agree. Okay, if you don't give Deadpool an R rating. You're doing it wrong. Amen. Um, who else? Who else would be a great example of you're doing I, it wrong? I think Venom and Carnage, especially Carnage. Carnage? He's a fucking serial killer. Yeah, a- absolutely. Like, how do you not? Um, that would be, oh my God, if they pussyfoot that, it would piss me off so much. Yeah, um, um, so, shit, who else? but Venom kills the hell out of people. Yeah. That is what they do. Yeah. And we saw what happened with a PG-13 Punisher. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. oh no. Uh, come on. You didn't like the Punisher. I think. The My Punisher opinion a- about the Punisher has very little to do with mm-hmm. what it should have been rated. Mm-hmm. Knowing the source material, this is Frank Castle. Yeah. This is Frank. I kill every scumbag on the street. Castle. Yeah. This is. I use a rocket launcher for crowded rooms. Frank Castle. Okay. PG thirteen. I think not. Okay, I give you that. I okay. give you that. I, 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 I'm not saying it's. I'm not saying um, you're wrong. I'm, I'm saying you're absolutely right. I think um, you, he, he he. That's where fucking Frank should live. Um, I just think that movie gets a little more hate than it deserves. I think it's. I've, I honestly, it's not that bad. It really isn't. The soundtrack's also pretty awesome. Um, and, and, and defense, but it's not what uh, Punisher should be. I will say that. So, I think the closest we got is what we got on Netflix. Yeah, which exactly. Is amazing. Which is R-rated. Agreed. It, it's Red Band. Yeah, yeah. So, um, as far as making a Venom movie, look, mm-hmm. I'm fine with Sony having the Spider-Man contract. Okay? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm fine with that. They haven't managed to fuck it up as badly as people say. Okay? Uh, I didn't hate The Amazing Spider-Man 2. You, bro. I didn't hate it. <laughs> I, I, uh... Stop being binary on me. I'm not trying to be binary. I'm what, not what, saying what, what, what? I liked it. Okay, okay. I'm saying I didn't hate what, it. What, what didn't you hate about it? I, I wanna, I'm i curious to see, like, what, are the, what are the good things about it? I liked Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. I like him as Spider-Man. I don't like him as I did Peter not Parker. say I liked him as Peter Parker. Okay, 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 my fault. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> I said I, I liked him as Spider-Man. Okay. Okay. Um, I thought the action scenes were fine. Okay, I'll give you that. Okay. I thought the color palette was fine. I'll give you that. I thought the cinematography was fine. I'll give, okay, I'll give you that. I'll All give right. More than I thought. Yeah. The places that it fucked up, it didn't just fuck up. Yeah. Okay? We're talking we're talking levels oh, of fucking up. Oops. We're we're talking we're we're literally talking God, I don't even have words to say the places that it really messed itself up, okay? But what it got right, it got right. Hmm. And that showed me that Sony could do it. If they were willing to take a risk, Orb 8. Don't shoot, man. Don't <laughs> shoot. <laughs> that, that was the risk. That was Sony. Dude. What are you talking about? That was, Sony. <laughs> that was a warning shot. <laughs> we were cool when you said you didn't hate it. Right, but now <laughs> critiques are coming in. Oh, no, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I was, you know, I, I, I didn't have a problem with that stuff. Hmm. Um, so if they were willing to take a risk, hmm. like with Tom Holland... Okay, give us a little levity. Yeah, and give us more teenagers. Yeah. Okay, Spider Man doesn't work when you have thirty five year olds playing sixteen year olds. Mm-hmm. And Marvel got it, and Sony said, "You know what? You're right. You know what? You're fine." Um, so as far as Venom goes, I don't see them doing it. And see, uh. Sony will continue to get passes from me until Fox. Fixes the Fantastic Four. That's, I mean, shit. Where, <laughs> where do we begin? <laughs> okay. You know? Now, granted, I know I sound like one of those people I complain about, uh-huh. saying, look, it doesn't just have to be um, burning crosses and white hoods for it to be racist. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, you know, it doesn't have to be Fox with the Fantastic Four to screw things up. Yeah. But... Let's handle the biggest problems in front of us first. I agree. <laughs> All I right? agree. I'll give you and that. And Fan Stick is one of the biggest problems in superhero movies. I, I couldn't watch it. Me, I you tried, know. man. And I tried to watch it. We just, after, not even 20 minutes, we're like, bro, I, we can't do this. Finish shit. it and understand that they messed up in a big way to say, or in a way that states, when you're rooting for the villain because he's got more acceptable motivations than the heroes, yeah. you've got your movie backwards. Agreed. Okay. Well, hardly. And that that's what it was. I was rooting for Doom. That's crazy. Not just because I hate Reed Richards as a character. I'm yeah. trying to get over that. <laughs> but I really am. I've been reading a lot of Fantastic Four and the stuff with um the Future Foundation oh. and the Council of Reeds. So okay. I- I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to give him a shot. I- I'm looking for things to be happy about. <laughs> okay. But at the end of the day... Mm. The government was messed up, Reed Richards was selfish, and Doom just wanted to go home. Mm, yeah. Think about that. I They're see. big bad guys, the big bad guy, because he was literally Sir Galahad from the Holy Grail. Mm. He gets lost in the negative zone. A year later, they go back, and he's like, I've made this place work. I'm powerful. 
as though he was stuck in the tower with a bunch of gorgeous women saying, and next, the spankings, and next, <laughs> the oral sex. And then the Fantastic Four comes along going, oh, good, we're here to rescue you. I, I don't need rescue. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 you need <laughs> rescuing. You know, I want to be rescued too. Oh, yeah, yeah, and no, I, and yes, we should be punished. Yes, so so next, the spankings, and then the oral sex. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, he's... and he's like, no, put me back. Put, put me, me back. back. No, no, no. And they didn't. Mm. So he's like, not only am I going to go back, but I'm going to destroy the world so that you can't come back and get me in 10 years. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, that's crazy. I'm not all there with his methods. <laughs> but I understand. <laughs> but I understand. Yeah, I don't condone him. I don't condone but him. I understand. And I that's, understand. you know, but I, I, I've got a long video about um, how they need to fix the Fantastic Four. Mm. But Fantastic Four against Amazing Spider-Man 2... Yeah. Spider-Man 2 got the pass. I'll give you that. So Sony still gets a pass. Yeah. Now, they could take that pass and set it on fire and do the Mexican hat dance around it with the Venom franchise. Right, it is possible. But I don't know. Haven't seen a trailer. Haven't heard about a script. Mm. All we know is that it's been greenlit and Tom Hardy's attached. Yeah. Okay? So I'm good with that. Okay. All right? Um, but, like I said, I was looking for stuff to smile about. Let me tell you something. Let uh-huh. me tell you something. Talk to me. Okay. You haven't seen the Black the Black Panther trailer. I, I've been avoiding yeah. it. I have not. I knew we were going to do this. And I was ah, like, yeah, you saved it just for me. I did. I did. I, I know. I'm very thoughtful. <laughs> oh, my God. So And humble. I'm going to just uh, sit back and uh, we're going to run this trailer. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, we're going to run the trailer. I'm excited. And uh, we're going um, to see what you think because... You know, I am sort of one of the black guys on the internet, but I know that you're one of the blacker guys on the internet. And, um, (laughs) yeah, blam. (laughs) (laughs) Blam, that is wet. (laughs) Just just saying. Um, So let's uh, let's take a look at what we got here with the Panther trailer. Tell me something. What do you know about Wakanda? It's a third world country. Textiles, shepherds, cool outfits. All the front. Explorers have searched for it. Called it El Dorado. They looked for it in South America. But it was in Africa the whole time. I'm the only one who's seen it. And made it out alive. Okay. Now, <clears throat> thirty-five words or less. Could you tell me what you think about this trailer? This just is... thirty-five words or less. Woo! Oh my God! <laughs> yes, 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 yes! I am that guy. Absolutely, <laughs> I am screaming. I am wooing. I am bopping my head because I don't know what song that was in the trailer, but that should knock. Oh, um, fucking, um, fucking. Like I said before, Michael, Michael B. Jordan, Ryan Coogler, Angela Bassett. Oh, um, Angela, oh, my uh, Angela. Yeah, absolutely. Andy Serkis. What's love got to do with it? Oh, I'll tell do you what it. love got to do with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, Dude. black excellence. Oh my God, hands down. Um, I'm very. Oh, uh, don't forget Lapita. And Lapita, yes. Oh, and Lapita. And Michonne. Yeah, Michonne. Michonne's, Michonne's in that? Yeah, yeah. I missed it. I didn't see you it. missed. Yeah, she was standing next to him when he was looking through the two-way glass. That's that was Michonne. Michonne. 
Yeah. That's who plays his bodyguard? Uh-huh. That's, that's who plays his bodyguard. That's who plays that bodyguard. That bodyguard. That bodyguard. Yeah, bodyguard. I had mm-hmm. no idea. Oh, yeah. Wow. I know she's hard to recognize without the dreads and the two zombies yeah. on the chain. Yeah. But no, that was her. That was her. Yeah, two zombies threw me off and not seeing that. Yeah, exactly. Freaking, but, oh, man, bro. I'm I telling am you. Yeah. Beyond excited. Um, I, again, I love Ryan Cooler from um, Creed. I still have to see Food Fill Station. I haven't mm-hmm. seen that yet. Um, and I, I've been a fan of Michael B. Jordan since The Wire. Yeah. Um, I yeah. love one of my favorite shows of all time. And just to see, just a, like a personal note, just to see their progression and to see that they're able to do shit like this, dude. You know, like 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 someone gave like someone gave Coogler a check and said, "Yo, come join the Marvel universe. Let's see what you got." You know, what I mean, I, I think is again, and, that, and Marvel does not get enough credit for that too. Is they're willing to put you know a bunch of money back and behind some um, uh, not, uh, directors who don't have a lot. Um, of projects in their in their repertoire, but they mm-hmm. see something in them, and and they're willing to let them bring their style into their universe. Okay, see, I, I'll give you credit for that. You what know? what I'm sitting up, I've been reticent about um, the Black Panther for a little while. Okay, because um, you know, let's face it, we've had two black people in Marvel movies. Yeah, over the past eight years. I agree. Okay, and honestly, we've technically had three. But let, let's face it, we got Terrence Howard for one movie, <laughs> and then replaced with you know the new, let's face it, the new go-to black actor in Don Cheadle. Yeah. Um. But then, <laughs> what happens? Yeah. And then we get um. What, you know, who's uh, Anthony, your boy for Fal- Falcon? Um. And oh, I'm so sorry, I'm butchering your name, Anthony um Mackey. Yeah, Anthony, Anthony Mackey. Yeah. Yeah. See, there, there's Michonne hey, right there. Hey, my girl. Oh, let's go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. My you wow. know. No, Love but you. um. But it's like, you know, it's like, uh, Marvel, you know, what, what are the black people no, at? No, you're right, though. What, I, I, what just had this, I just had this thought. Yeah, what are you um, not Actually, pretty recently, I yeah. saw a picture of, um, um, it was fan, it was kind of, it was fan made, so it's, I'm not putting no stock on Marvel, but it looked like something Marvel can make. Fan made of every superhero, every Marvel superhero in the MCU. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't find Black Panther. <laughs> I legit like I thought he's he's like has his own movie and if he's in there he ain't in the for, he ain't in the foreground I don't know where the fuck he was yeah but I'm like and then it, then, it, then it got me to that thought I'm like yo where where are the brothers like we have you know we, we got, got Sam Falcon. Jackson yeah we got yeah, Sam, Sam Jackson, Jackson you know you know who's who, like now don't get me wrong he's black enough for three or four black parts but still yeah, yeah. still it, but it, yeah we need like. And, and not just, and we don't, here's the thing, we don't need just black people to fill up the background, to say, hey, there's one, you know, or we, hey, we gave them a power, so be, hey, you know, be thankful, and they're helping up the, you yeah. know, the parts of the back. Can you imagine what it's like being at, like, the, being, like, in Kevin Feige's crew, yeah. just kind of going, oh, Mr. Feige, Mr. Feige, um, yeah, we have a lot of black people that are really angry about their lack of reference, I mean, yeah, we kind of want to see a play, and Feige's like, I know. Feige, man. We will wait. And then, um, <laughs> right. And, you know, 2017 come around, they're like, oh, Mr. Feige, it is time. <laughs> it is done. <laughs> ah, <laughs> <and no! laughs> I'm serious. I was expecting James Earl Jones to come out yeah. wearing like a lion scarf or something. <laughs> you do you like your bathers? <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> you know? Oh, my God. But it's true, uh, though, bro. It's like um, we need I mean, like, we needed that. We need that. And I think, well, on top of that, too, uh, it goes back to, um, also, I was thinking of always, um, and I don't think, um, it's, um, it's tough. I'm marking a mind flow right now. Mm-hmm. But um, the fact that Wonder Woman was directed by a female, mm-hmm. um, I think, also helps. Well. You know? I mean, who else is better to talk about that than, you know? I mean, like, just, just, I'm not saying it can't be done by a man. I'm just saying, um, I don't know, just a, a woman's perspective is always appreciated when you're talking about a woman uh, thing. And so you're saying that, that because this has a black director, this could... I, here's the thing, and that's why I feel a little bit yeah. a little bit better about that. <laughs> Especially the, the black director who I know, Ryan Coogler. Mm-hmm. You ever watched his brother talk? Like, his, yeah. mo- his movies, um, like he's, he really is just a chill brother. Like, he, he's so <laughs> real. He just sitting like, yeah, man, we came over the pot. And, like, and, <laughs> but he makes fucking art, bro. And that's, that's, what, I'm ta- that's what black excellence is, man. Just because I talk a certain fucking way doesn't mean I can't come out and give you something to really think that's about. That's true. That's you know true. I, mean? I, will, I will give you and, that. And I, and, and I think just that perspective alone is beautiful. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like Marvel as a company. And I think a lot of other movie companies really need to take a page out of this book. Huh. Is they're listening to the trolls, and they're cutting the internet trolls off at the knees. Mm. You know, because sure enough, it's like, 
you hit the internet trolls. Oh yeah, Black Panther, blah blah blah, African this, Africa that. What they gonna have distended bellies and, and flies on their eyeballs? <laughs> and sure as shit, they open up the trailer. Oh yeah, textiles, goats, blah blah blah. Yeah. You know, and he said, "I'm going. No, they're bullshit, man. Exactly. They're trolling you. Exactly. <laughs> and, exactly. And then they. And then what's the first thing you see? You see, you know, my man, my man. Um, I can't believe I I just messed up his name. Um, you know, Chadwick Boseman. Walking out with that back tattoo, yeah. and sure enough, you're seeing the Atko Atko Ale, yeah, Atko Atko oh, and it's beautiful. like, oh man, this is just going to fuel the trolls, you know, because all you see are people in African clothing sitting yeah. on rocks, like, oh yeah, see, they still live in caves, ha ha ha, that's what mm-hmm. I say if I'm from Kentucky and have four teeth to share between my family. <laughs> And then, um, and then sure as shit, yeah, space age boat, right? Fucking full city. I'm Those like, oh yeah, seeing, oh bro. yeah, Woo. that 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 is science fiction right yeah. there. That is yeah, that right. is. I wish it were science fact, but they just kind of went. You know how everybody was talking about black doctor and black lawyer with the Huxtables back in the '90s? Mm. How do we turn that up to eleven? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. How about beautiful bald women yeah, baby. and flying cars? Well, the only problem I got so far, no jetpacks. No jetpacks. <laughs> no, well, is that the only if, issue? If my only gripe is it would be cooler with a jetpack, because let's face it, be, everything, everything is cooler cool with a jetpack. Jet so, yeah, right. No jetpacks. Tis, tis. Get on it, Black Panther. It's just yeah. force one like flying by. <laughs> God, I told you. <laughs> you know, I'm serious, man. That yeah. was, you know, I mean, I love that Forrest Whitaker is the next Morgan Freeman, which is yeah. kind of interesting. Because I'm like, I'm like, he looks, oh, it's Forrest. Act, uh, Forrest, act. Exactly. Let, <laughs> let Forrest act. I'm sorry. Let Forrest act. I, I, I did not like Rogue One. Let Forrest act. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really did not like Rogue One. Let him act. That was waste of Forrest Whitaker. We, he's worth better than that. Sorry. I have a thing about Felicity Jones and cargo pants, so... Ah, um, uh, that's so superficial. <laughs> I have, okay, I have a thing of Darth Vader and red lightsabers. Okay, so that's one thing I loved about that. Hey, you know, so it wasn't a terrible, terrible movie. It was just a terrible movie. <sighs> yeah, exactly, there you go. You know, it was just, <laughs> it was just terrible. The criteria. You know, <laughs> no, I mean, so, so far, I'm really mm. looking forward to this, this particular yeah. flick. I um, think, um, just the, again, the pieces are there, man. And that's the thing, too, I, I hope the pieces stay... Um, the way they are, you know, because I've been I've been fooled before. I, I mean, <laughs> the, kill, the Killing Joke, I was oh, fooled. Oh, oh, I was fooled. I was fooled. The, every, you know what? Uh, the Killing Joke isn't that bad if you cut off the first half yes! hour. Oh my God! Give me that, okay. that 40, first forty five minutes cut. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think yeah. it's fine. Whatever the fuck that was was not. It was not Batgirl. <laughs> it wasn't Batman. <laughs> I have no, and then and then you can't. I'm sorry, you can't. It was do that. purple lady and yeah. her gay best, best friend. friend, and men are the worst <laughs> unless they open up, you know. And oh then, my god, popcorn and red wine stat. right? <laughs> and girls just oh. want to have sex. All they care about is relationships. <laughs> like, bro, like, I'm sorry, you can't do that. You can't start a movie with another movie and then just forget it. Like after a while, no, the Joker didn't bring up. Remember that time with that guy in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't, what the fuck was that necessary? It never came into play. Batman didn't say, well, Gordon, don't we? I had sex with your daughter. Like, get the fuck out of here. Are you well, I guess me? I gotta save you from all these midgets and S&M gears. Yeah, right. They kind of bang your little girl. You know? But, so, I have been fooled before. I gave her um, the batarang. I gave her, yeah, I gave her the batarang. And she came back for more. <laughs> oh, shit. But fucking, um, yeah, but the reason I am, um, I feel I feel safe in it because I, you know Marvel ha- doesn't really let me down like that. You know, if if anything, it's like if if a movie does, it's kind of just a par. It's nothing like I'm alien angry. Not like what DC has been doing, but with the exception of Wonder Woman. I haven't seen Wonder Woman yet. Um, oh, we but, gonna talk about that. Uh, um, but with Coogler behind, we Jordan, I mean half this fucking cast alone. Um, I am. Wholeheartedly, I'm there. I'm there opening day. I'm, yeah. I'm there opening weekend, at least. I'm, um, I'm glad you waited. I'm glad you me waited. Me too. I, I, I wanted to see the woo. 